am here now to talk about the markers okay so before you uh, follow any of my videos i should have done this a long time ago actually i did na i think pero natabunan kasi i always have mga bagong videos so natatabunan na yung video ko about markers or the words that i use so this is the most important part of ano training sa mga aso okay ito yung pinaka important kasi without this wala kayong clear communication baka mahirapan yung dog nyo maintindihan kung ano ba yung gusto nyo sa kanya okay so siguro you can get away with not using markers if you're just teaching mga casual na sit down uh, stay and then come na hindi masyadong strict like pang bahay lang ganun pero when it comes to complicated tasks like let's say focused heel which requires the dog walking uh, beside your left leg looking at your face it might be difficult if you don't have a marker okay so i only have four yes no good okay tama ba okay yeah so i only use four words na ano parang to com communicate to the dog what I want okay so pinaka important is the word na yes this is my positive marker it doesn't matter anong gusto mo na word you can even just use a sound you can use a yung cap ng Gatorade as a clicker or a clicker to to signify that the dog did something right and then therefore the dog will get a reward okay so um let's say ano isipin nyo na lang sa bahay nyo siguro yung aso nyo nakaupo sa harapan nyo habang may hawak kayo yung pagkain tapos sinabi nyo good boy and then binigyan nyo siya ng food ang marker na ginamit nyo dun para nalaman ng aso nyo na tama yung ginawa niya is yung sinabi nyo na good boy okay so I'm replacing it with something short like yes Kasi I don't wanna parang every time tama yung gagawin ng aso ko, good boy, ang haba, good boy, good boy, ulit-ulitin, good. So, I just, sometimes I just even say, S -s -s -s. I don't even say the word yes talaga. Uh, especially sa dog ko, I just say, S -s -s. I do that sound and then alam na ng aso ko na the dog will get a reward or get to bite the dog or the ball. Okay? So, Paano ko yung tinuturo? I have a video on that. Um, tingnan nyo na lang sa YouTube channel ko or uh, hanapin nyo yung ano, uh, video sa Facebook using the search button. Okay? So, ang importance nun is let's say um, yung aso mo marunong na ng uh, mga commands na basic. no, Like sit down, stay calm, ganyan. And then you have to teach na the ano, focused heel. It's hard for you to mark a moment in time using sabi mo, good boy, ganun. Or by not saying anything, just giving the dog food. Diba? Kasi nasanay tayo parang basta i-reward nyo lang yung aso kapag tama yung ginagawa. Which you can get away with that. Pero if you're gonna teach something complicated, mahirapan ka. So ganito, no? Example ko yung aso ko. Um, Nag-heal kami, naka ganito yung head niya. Nakababa. Eh gusto ko nakataas, nakatingin sa akin para yung itsura niya is mukhang naka-focus siya sa akin, ganyan. So ang gagawin ko, naglalakad siya ganyan. Wala akong gagawin. I am not gonna say ano, yes, I'm not going to click the clicker. And then kapag ginanoon niya, I'll click or I'll say yes and then I'm going to reward the dog. So Ngayon, dahil alam na ng aso ko na ibig sabihin ng marker na yon is ito yung gusto ko na gawin mo. And then, the dog will start doing this na. Okay? So, every time na ano, naglalakad siya, ganyan. And then, sinabi ko, watch. Tumingin ng ganyan. Yes! I'll go, I'm going to reward the dog na right away. Another example of, ano, of that is, ano ba? Let's say you're teaching the dog forced retrieve. Forced retrieve means uh, having the dog hold something sa mouth niya. Whatever that is. It could be a basket, um, uh, a dumbbell, or whatever. A bone, pwede. 
or a frisbee. So all you have to do is just put it in the dog's mouth. Ganyan mo and then say yes and then reward the dog with food. Lagay mo ulit, sarami yung mouth niya. Mag-click ka, click. And then reward. Ganun mo ulit. Next time, yes, reward ulit. Hanggang sa next time, eh, ganyan mo lang sa harapan ng, ano, ng dog mo yung yung item, the dog will ganyan. Will bite it. And then, just say yes and then reward. So, natuluan mo na yung aso mo na mag-hold ng ano, item sa mouth niya. No? So, yan yung una. Uh, yes. Word na yes. Next is yung word na no. This is also important especially sa pet home. Okay? Um, so, sa bahay, usually, kakagatin ka dito. Ang pinaka-typical na naririnig ko is yung may-ari ng aso na client ko sinasabi sa akin. Sinasabi ko naman dyan, no eh. Pero, hindi siya nakikinig. Okay? Limbawa, eto, nag, mayroong umiiyak na asa dito yung bago kong dog na Jack Russell. No. Ayan, sabihin ko sa kanya no para mag-stop siya. Dahil bago pa lang siya, hindi ko pa itong masyado nakokorek. Kahit sabihin ko sa kanya no pa ulit-ulit, iiyak pa rin ito maya-maya. <laughs> okay? Pero yung katabi niya, si Teddy, yung Yorkie, pag narinig niya na nag-no ako, the dog will stop ano, making noise. <laughs> Kasi nakorek ko na ito dati. Ang ibig ko lang sabihin dito is Yung no na word na ginagamit nyo Wala po siyang meaning sa aso Unless bigyan nyo siya ng meaning So kung sasabihin nyo lang lagi No, sisigawan nyo yung dog It's like saying something Tagalog or Bisaya To someone who is ano, Russian Parang Hindi niya alam ibig sabihin okay? Pero kung sinabi nyo dun sa Russian Sinabi nyo, wag, tapos sinampal mo siya, malalaman niya na it's something negative. Okay, I'm not saying na ang gagawin nyo sa aso ay sasampalin. So, let's say na lang yung alo, literal na kung ano yung ginagawa ko ganito. Ha. So, limbawa, uh, nag-iingay yung dog. Ang gawin ko, I'll use a bottle or or maybe a feeding bowl na stainless gaganan ko sa, ano, sa cage. No. And then I'm going to bang the ano the cage with the bowl. To some dogs, it will work na ganon lang, okay? So it's negative sa kanila kasi nagulat sila, okay? And then ano, natakot sila sa ginawa ko. So gagawin ko no, and then I'll do that. No, I'm going to do it again. No, I'm going to do it. So nagkakalo na ng meaning. So next time, example ko no. Yung aso is, ano na, parang, eh, I did something wrong. Okay? Kasi, na-associate niya yung tunog na no, yung sound na no, dun sa ginawa ko. That's just an example. For some, you can just, ano lang, parang, no. Do that, enough na yun. For some, hindi yun okay, parang titignan ka lang na aso na parang, anong ginagawa nito? So, ang gagawin mo, you're gonna give the dog a correction by maybe... Uh, having a really long leash Nag-iingay yung dog, no? Nag-iingay, ayaw tumigil Let's say, nagreklamo na yung mga kapitbahay nyo Nagreklamo yung kapitbahay nyo Dahil 2am na yung aso mo Tahol ng tahol So, gagawin mo dyan Gumamit ka ng mahabang-mahabang leash Or yung retractable leash Ikabit mo sa collar ng dog mo Don't say anything Iba to, iba to Okay? So, we are just associating yung something negative dun sa ginagawa ng dog. So, you can pop the leash every time the dog will start barking. Basta tama, dapat yung timing yung exact. Tapag nag-start siya mag-bark, pop the leash. Okay? Pwede rin naman, you can say no. So, nag-iingay yung dog, sabi mo, no. Ganun din mo yung leash. Mag-bark siya ulit. No. Ganun din mo yung leash. No. Ganun din mo yung leash. So, next time, nagbabark siya, sabi mo lang, no. Magsa-stop na yung aso mo. If that doesn't work, you can use instead of a flat collar, prong collar. If that doesn't work, kasi parang hassle, uh, you need to hold the leash, ganyan, use a, an e-collar. Okay? That's the fastest way to stop barking. But you should also be fair. Ano bang reason ba't nag-bark yung asa mo? Baka naman may nakatayo na tao sa harapan ng gate. So, normal lang yan. Hahayaan nyo dapat yung dog nyo mag-bark. Okay? So, next is So, yes, no, next is good. Okay, good. Kaya sabi ko yung good as a bridge. 
Okay? Ibig sabihin yan, kasi yung yes, mayroong reward. So, di ba, sit, nag-sit siya, but hits the ground, I'll say yes, and then I'll give the food, I'll hand the dog the food, or pwede rin, ano, down, after 5 seconds, yes, I'll reward. So, minsan you build duration, di ba? So, you don't just keep rewarding as soon as the dog does the command. You want to build duration then. So, sometimes you have to extend yung uh, command. So, if nung una, beginner yung aso, uh, I'll do maybe, sasabihin ko, sit. 3 seconds, yes, reward ko siya. And then, kapag feeling ko magaling na yung aso, I'm gonna ask the dog to sit. And then, I'll wait mga 15 seconds. And then, i-reward ko siya. Pero, paano malalaman na aso na tama yung ginagawa niya? Kasi, minsan, yung aso nag-iisip, okay, sinabi, sinabi niya daw, sit. So, nag-sit ako. Bakit walang yes ako naririnig? Hindi niya sinasabing yes. Mali yata ito. So, baka ang gagawin na aso magda-down or magsa-stand, magda-turn, magda-place. Kasi, parang, Tama ba yung ginawa ko? Nag-sit ako tapos wala ako narinig na yes. So, yung bridge, dun mo siya gagamitin. So, sabihin mo, ang bawa, yung aso ko si Danny. Danny, sit. Good. Good, girl. Good. So, from time to time, sasabihin mo sa kanya, good. So, yung good, na-condition na yun sa aso na it means tama yung ginagawa niya. So, paano ko i-condition pa? Paano malalaman ng aso mo na good means tama yung ginagawa niya? Sa bahay, iba, minsan, for no reason, eh, it's always positive, di ba? Never nyo naman pinapagalitan yung aso nyo na sinasabi nyo good, good girl or good boy. So, minsan, ipepet mo siya, ganyan na yung head niya, good girl, good girl, good boy. So, alam ng aso, by default, kung ginagawa niya yan sa aso nyo, na good means tama yung ginagawa niya or it's something positive. So, kaya nagagamit ko siya to extend the command. So, alamba, goal ko is 30 seconds na ano, naka-down yung dog ko. Sabihin ko, Danny, down. Every 5 seconds, sabihin ko, good. Good. So, pag 30 seconds na, sabihin ko, yes. Tapos, uh, ano, throw the ball. Okay? So, syempre, sa umpisa lang yun. Kapag ka tinuturo ko pa sa aso na kailangan i-extend niya yung command. Pahabain niya yung pag-stay niya, pahabain niya yung pag-place niya, pahabain niya yung pag-down niya. So, kapag ka nagagawa na niya yun, I don't need to keep using the bridge. Pang mga ano lang to, new commands or pang mga beginner na dog na nagtitraining. So, yes, no, good, or good boy, good girl. Next is okay. Or you can say break or you can say free dog. So, iba-iba. Depende sa'yo. Ako, I use the word okay. Sa lahat ng tinitrain ko dito yung aso ko at aso ng mga clients, I just say okay. It means, tapos na yung command. Okay? This is one of the most important. Okay? <laughs> Actually, apat lang naman to sa lahat to important. So, yung okay, important siya kasi ganito. Let's say that you told your dog to sit down. Ito common to sa mga pet home, sa mga bahay. Kasi, hindi naman kayo trainer. So, parang casual lang. Sinabi nyo sit, tapos biglang nag-YouTube na kayo. Or nag-laptop, or nanood kayo ng Netflix. And then, yung aso, sabi niya sit, tapos ano, hindi na niya ako pinansin. So, tatayo na siya. Alis na siya. So, next time, sinabi mo down. Tapos, okay. Niya mo lang siya doon. Or siguro, ginanan mo yung head niya, pinet mo siya, ang bait niya to. Ang bait ng aso ko. Tapos, and then, nag, ano pa na, nag-fold ka na. So, yung aso, hindi niya alam hanggang kailan ba yung sit, hanggang kailan yung down, hanggang kailan yung stay. Okay? Hindi niya alam, di ba? So, ang gagawin niya, tatayo siya after a few seconds or kung kailan niya gusto. So, uh, what, what happens is, yung aso, tinuturuan niya siya na ibig sabihin na sit, Sit down and then stand up kapag gusto mo na umalis. Whereas, if meron kang release word, which is ako, I use the word okay, ganito gagawin ko, sit. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, okay! So after 3 seconds, sasabihin ko okay, and then 
gagawin ko, I'm going to use the leash para tumayo siya, para malaman niya na tapos na yung command. Okay? So kasi yung yes, it's a terminal marker. It means tapos na yung command. Kasi kapag nakasit yung dog, pag sinabi kong yes, the dog can stand up to get the, no, the reward. So it ends the command. So what if you don't wanna reward the dog with ano, food or toy? You use the okay or the release command. So sasabihin ko down, okay, pwede ka nang tumayo. You can sniff the grass, you can ano, uh, run around if the dog is off leash. And then tatawagin ko na naman siya ulit, Danny, come, sit, okay, I don't need you here anymore. Ganyan. So ngayon, next time, kapag ka sinabi ko sa aso ko, sit, and then naglakad ako paalis, the dog will not move. Kasi alam niya na hindi ito kung kailan ko lang gusto. I'm going to end this command kapag ka sinabi na niya na okay. Or kapag sinabi na niya na yes, ibig sabihin makakakuha na ako ng reward. Okay? So, I hope this is clear. So, this is ano, uh, going going to be really important lalo na kapag gusto niyo na mag-advance yung aso niyo sa sa training kasi malilito siya kapag hindi niya to ginagawa malilito sila parang ano um, dapat kasi black and white eh pag sinabi mong sit sit i don't even have to say stay kaya minsan di ba kung napanood niyo yung video ko minsan naglalakad ako or nagjo-jogging kasi sabi ko kay Danny down i don't even say stay kasi down means down ka diyan Stay na din yun kasi naka-down siya, eh, ba? So, hindi yun aalis until nagbigay ako ng isa pang command like sinabi ko heel or front or place tsaka siya aalis dun. Or, pag sinabi kong yes which means pwede niya kunin yung tug or yung ball or yung food. Or, if I say okay. Pag sinabi kong okay, you don't have to go back to me. You can get the toy if you want. Pero if you want to sniff the grass, it's okay din. Alright? So, I know this video is kinda long pero this will help you a lot kapag uh, seryoso kayo sa training sa aso nyo. And this is also something na I hope panoorin ng mga clients ko kasi ayan yung tinuro ko sa dogs nyo. Okay? So, I, ano, I'll end this video now and yung, ano, yung draw tungkol dun sa mga top, top fan na ano na I'm going to give free online training or if you are from Cebu I'll do a private ano home training session I'll do it tomorrow na lang kasi pagod na ako <laughs> I need to check kasi yung messages yung inbox eh okay so hi sir Erwin hi um Baymax uh, aggressive po yung BM ko by help so yung mga ganito I cannot answer this ano sa chat kasi if aggression you need to watch the dog eh like, kailangan ko tingnan yung aso mo in person pwede din sa video pero, pero ang hirap so kailangan makita ko yung buong katawan niya ano ba yung ginagawa niya kapag merong aso dito ano ginagawa niya kapag may tao dyan ano ginagawa niya kapag nakaharap ako ano ginagawa niya kapag nakatalikod ako so uh, I wish I can help sana through a video lang na ganito pero I need to be, ano, seeing your dog in person. Okay. Yes, uh, I'm looking forward to that, Sir Erwin, na, ano, i-train yung dog nyo. Okay. Alright. Hi, Sir uh, Odds de la Cuesta. Okay. Sige po, i-end ko na tong video, and, ano, sana gamitin nyo po yung, ano, yung na-share ko, kasi... Ano to? Ito lang yung ginagawa ko. Wala akong secret. Yan lang po yun. Napakadali lang po yun. Basta yung fundamentals lang na ano, nagawa nyo, naturo nyo sa aso. It's super easy. Anyone can do dog training. Okay? Sige, yan lang. Thanks.